Hi, Swear fans, and today we're going to do a craft when you're bored. Because it's quarantine and we have to stay at home. So I got a craft that includes not a lot of thinking, and I think it's good when you're bored. It doesn't, it's very easy. You don't have to work into it, and you don't have to think a lot. Maybe this is my make sense. This is a craft you can do when you're bored at home. All you need is paper, a pencil, a black marker or a Sharpie. I have a black one to outline. And I already done this actually. I thought it was a great idea. No, oh, I'm why do I my face in here? I don't know. I'm trying to find my black marker here. <laughs> I think my black marker. I'll come right back when I found find the black marker I'm looking for. Hi, and now I'm back. And this is what you also need. This is my black marker I was talking about, and I got. You also need a bracer. It has a bracer. I'm not just using it for racing drawing. I'm using a sponge ball, sponge bob, surfing pencil. And also, you need something to color with. I'm using markers because I want the cartoonish effect. You can use colored pencils, any colored, and any color thing you have, or you can just keep it black and white. So I'll show you. And actually, I already done this, so <laughs> I thought it was just a great idea to show you guys. But I think it's something you can do easily when you're bored. And I can show you what they are. Here, are what I drew. I'm not gonna show the back. It's these are called safe creases. <laughs> so basically, probably your guys are asking, what are safe creases? Does it comment down low? Oh wait, ten seconds. If you need more time to write the comments down below, your guess is to get the safe creases on. You can go look at the picture you guess there, and I'll give you 10 seconds now. If you need more time, just pause the video. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. If you need more time, just pause the video right now. So if you guys say safe creatures is just making creatures out of shapes, you're absolutely right. Because they're just creatures now, shapes. So we so I have these tiny little markers. That's why I got the big markers. Because it's hard to color this big of the shape with those tiny little tips. So we got a circle. We got the square. We got the triangle. We got the star. And we got Diamond. I think my favorite is probably the square. I'll explain them. So I used a star, a diamond, a triangle, a circle, and a square. So we got the stars. Kind of looks like the circle has hair. And we got three diamonds. We got triangle hands and square feet. And his. And they kind of are kind of like happy, smiley, and kind of funny to look at. Because I give them eyes and then their mouth. I give them teeth and tongues. I don't know what that means. Then we got a square with star eyes, like star things. We got Mickey Mouse ears. We're not finding him like today. Then we got little triangle hands, like going, yay! And it has little round feet. Same triangle has. Those are like fire things. Those are shapes. I do that a lot. We got dots. He kind of like a doll mason. Then we got. He's holding to the stars for this part. And we got squares. We got little diamonds. It's not a clown. It's not a clown. He's not a clown triangle. I promise he's not a clown triangle. He's just a. He's just a. He's just a triangle with his, with his circle red nose. Okay. So you can think of any color for your shapes. I thought of dark blue for the diamond. Not. Nah. Light blue, this kind of blue for the square, not this kind of blue, this is my version. We got green for the triangles, we got love for the stars, because that's me. And then we got red for the circles. We got a crazy star. It looks like, it looks pretty crazy. The star looks like jumping, and then he's just holding stars. I guess. So today I'm going to show you 
how to make them. So first, think of the shapes you want. For mine, for mine, and you can draw the eyes anyway. <laughs> and for mine, I just thought of, I choose a circle, a star, a diamond, a square, and a triangle. So I made five little creases. I will make one. I have to teach you how to make. I, I never and I guess now I'm back, and after all, now I'm going to show you how to draw my eyes, because I need to teach you how, because I think some of you guys are asking me how to draw So basically, so just sit there, see, kind of make sense. So you go, like, start where you want to draw. Like, start kind of here, grab your little pencil, and just draw a simple little circle, okay, and then just draw a line. And let's draw another simple circle. And let's draw a line. And then if you want, like the eye, let's draw another line, okay? And then color in. There we go. And to do the little smile I did, this right here, this go draw. Um, a like a two triangles end and a little curve, and then just draw this, then draw a little half circle, then draw a little square pieces in the mouth to act like teeth. Then you can add any as the nose. I did do a little back to the past. So that's what I'm going to show you for the start, and now I'm going to go two times to draw the rest of my square creaser. I just so you have to draw the eyes and mouth so you know what exactly to do. Draw the eyes and mouth. And by the way, it's not pretty okay, it's not a good idea. So just don't start feed your big your little details. If you have any tiny little details, just don't outline them to black. They'll be black too. So just don't have them. Except if you want a black one picture. So now I'll do time. <laughs> You see, I drew three of them because I know it's I think circle, square, and triangle are the classic tape creatures people want to draw. So I do. So I did. So I drew a circle. So I drew a triangle, a circle, and a square. And now I'm going to show you the outline in case you guys don't know what to do. So basically, I'm just going to show you one. See, so I'm going to show you the circle. So basically, you open. Okay, so you grab your little marker or type your marker, you open the cap, then you get your thumb and then you go trace the line that is darker. Like your race lines, don't don't trace that. Don't trace your lace lines. And this then this is trace the line. And there. That's how you trace the line. Now I'm gonna do the rest. Now I'm gonna do the rest. And then, and then I'm going to be done.
now I'm gonna show you back. Now I'm gonna show you. But the next step is where you have very big like um, mistakes, and if you draw very hard, you're going to want to use your eraser and just erase the lines until they just until you can barely see them. So now I'm gonna do that, but not on time lapse. I think it'll be pretty boring. Hi, now I'm back from the erasing. So now I'm gonna go color them with all my marker colors. If you want to color them a different um, way, don't worry, that's fine with me. Now, if you want to color them like me and make them color markers, just color them markers, okay? So now I got my black and green and some of my see. And then we got, now we're gonna get them If you remember right, these markers, these are the same markers I used in my Halloween sticker F, um, video. Make sure you go check out that. Except if you don't celebrate holidays, you probably should not take a video. But you can watch this video if you celebrate holidays. This is not a holiday based video. This is just drawing safe creatures. Has nothing to do with no holidays, right? Okay, we're gonna pour out the next container. These are pretty fast in here. Whoa! I might have to move my picture and some other stuff for more room. This is a book in there. But also I'm gonna move my squares. My cardboard squares. Also I'm gonna move see the scram like them. And then we got my, and then we got this box. Big marker pile. And also, maybe you want to get your pencil, any black marker, there, and any crafts, and anything you have on there at the time. So probably with the big, probably for like the little tiny little details, you probably want to use different markers or different things. But if you're going with markers, and if you don't want to take forever, maybe with the face, make sure to try the big markers here. I just have them in case I have any big things called. And there. And there we go. Now, for them. Now we're gonna get my pencil out of it. Now here. And now we're gonna start coloring them. Back and back when I'm done coloring them. Oops, I forgot. 
power in his tiny, 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 little, little time. So, this, these are the markers. So, I recommend the fat markers for red or this kind of red because um, it's way brighter than the red I was using. So, I cover that for that. It looks super, 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 super good. So, we got the square here, and we got a circle, and we got a triangle. I thought, now these are probably the basic, probably most kids want to draw a square creaser, a circle creaser, and a triangle creaser. Probably most kids don't want to draw a star creaser and a diamond creaser, but that's just my opinion. So now I'm going to draw like a background. If you're scared, like, are these going to look good in the background? Can I draw in the background? I'm going to draw a background right now and show you how they look in the background. And then I'm going to outline it. So let's go and draw that right now. back and I just finished drawing my background and you should not be saying or you don't have to say are my safe creatures gonna look good on a background they do look good on the background I drew a background and they look super 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 good on it we got a little circle a square crease and a triangle and they're behind a snowy mountain with taiga trees because that one I think it's all mountains it's all really based on minecraft and then we got a sun and then we got a tree then we got some clouds and we got grass and then, now I'm gonna color it in time lapse so let's go and color this right now
time lapse is. So I color my whole drawing, you see. I color a blue background because these clouds are gonna blend in snow. So the clouds started to color a blue background. It looks like the color control. We have a square, a circle, and a triangle, and I colored the whole entire scene, and it looks amazing with a background. And I love the idea of combining the shapes and making them into a tiny, and not making them a tiny, but just make them increasers. Because they really look cute in the end, and I kind of get, and you see, I give them little eyebrows, I can add them on here, to just make them look more funniest. Look like funny little square of little safe creasers just having fun. There's a mountain behind them. Tiger trees on the mountain. And then there's a palm tree. A palm tree right next to them. I'm talking about Minecraft and why I drew tiger trees like that because it's Minecraft. Because Minecraft, I am going to record Minecraft on this channel. But, um, they will not. Minecraft or not. If you want to see games on the Swiss, you have to look around for later on the channel because I have to find a way to record on the Swiss so I will maybe have some test being written. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know how the you know, on I don't know what I'm going to to try, so I'll do I will try to record the Swiss games. So these are my little, little cre animal creatures here. And we got a big ground green floor. We got green grass. We got a little mountain behind them with a purple layer and then snow. Then we got two tiger trees, a circle creaser, circles, um, safe creaser. Then we got square, square creaser. Then we got a triangle safe creaser. Then we got a square. A sea creature. Then we got a palm tree next to him. And then we got a sun with eyebrows and sunglasses. Then we got three little clouds. And they're, it kind of looks like they're underwater, but it's just a blue sky. And that's it. And they look super, super adorable. So make sure your video like. Make sure to subscribe. Make sure to ring the bell. Bye, super fans.